Welcome to the Swedish Maker. Today I'm making a herringbone coffee table. I started by cutting the plywood to match the size of the existing tabletop, 65 by 120 centimeters, with the circular saw. I added a stop block to make sure the cut was straight. To make the strips for the tabletop I cut the 6.9 cm wide boards in half making them around 3.2 cm wide using the table saw. The strips were 2.1 cm thick so I cut the pieces in half as well making them around 0.9 cm thick. I used a miter saw to cut the strips 20 cm long again using a stop block on the miter saw to make sure they were equally long. All this cutting wasn't perfect, which I noticed later when it was time to glue it all up. Some of the strips were a little thicker than others and some pieces were wider than others. To glue the pieces in a straight line we drew a line across the middle of the plywood. That would give us a measurement to follow. In hindsight I think it would have been good to add 45 degree lines across the plywood to maintain the right angle. I think we managed pretty good without it, but it might have been easier. The center line helped us get started at least. We used regular wood glue to glue all the pieces in place. Some pieces I had to go back and sand or cut a little so that they would fit better. We had the glue dry overnight and then I used a circular saw to cut off the excess on the sides. Again using a guide board to make sure I cut a straight line. And then it was time to sand. Since the pieces weren't equally thick I had to sand a lot to make it as plain as you can with the sander. I added sawdust and wood glue to fill in the imperfections. I measured the thickness of the tabletop and cut the frame to match that. I used the miter saw to cut the 45 degree angle and made a sure it was the right angle with a digital angle measure tool. That way I hope it's a snug fit. It's always a hassle cutting 45 degrees, in my experience. I used wood glue and a nail gun to attach it to the table and to add a little finesse I drilled holes to match wooden dowels. I added some glue to the dowel and then cut it off with a fine tooth saw. It makes for a fine detail on the side of the table. And then I sanded it all the way to 180 grit sandpaper and felt good about it. Not complaining at all. To keep the pine from going yellow I used a leaching solution. And when that was drying up I had another idea. Before I started this project I had an idea about some kind of hidden storage under the table so I drew up a box that would fit the remote control to the TV in Fusion 360 along with uh, some hinges to keep the box in place. I have uploaded the box to Thingiverse and there's a link in the description if you want to download it. It's a pretty basic construction but it will do the job of hiding the remotes. When the 3D print was done I added some plastic filler and some color to the box.
And then I finished the surface of the tabletop with a hard wax oil. I went over it twice with a bit of sanding in between. And then I drilled some holes in the frame to be able to attach the tabletop to the frame. and I screwed the 3D printed box in place as well. And that was the last thing to do before the table was done. That's it, that was uh, hectic. I did this in a week. Uh, that's a bit insane to be honest. But I really wanted this to be finished before the Christmas holidays. That's it for now. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below for more content like this. And if you have any questions about this project, throw a comment down below and I'll answer it. And I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye.